hi guys i hope you're doing well welcome back to our youtube channel if you haven't subscribed kindly hit the subscribe button below and turn on your notification bell all things relationship we talk about relationship or we give advice and hope you mend yours and uh, today we're talking about six signs that indicates you're in a toxic relationship and how to fix them but before that I want to mention that statistics indicate that there is increase of physical and psychological abuse from romantic partners each year, especially now in this pandemic, it has increased significantly. So I'll just dive um, right into it. And the first sign uh, of your toxic partner is that you'll notice that they are self-centered. So the first one is self-centeredness. And uh, I would say that you will notice your partner is not able or is unwilling to recognize your needs and feelings and most of the time you'll notice that he or she will monopolize conversations and ideas and when they hear you out or allow you to air any idea they will make it look like they are doing you a favor by allowing you to do so the second sign of a toxic partner is uh, they are controlling and manipulative so um, they'll most likely belittle you and perceive you as an inferior and most of the time they are preoccupied with fantasies about success, beauty, or a perfect mate. And here is where they will compare you with others. If it's a woman, uh, you will hear something like, you can't, get a, you can't get a good job like your peers because there is nothing between your head or, we, or if it's a man, I cheat because you don't take care of yourself as, as other women do. Which is sad, right? So the, that's, the that sign is... Uh, they are usually entitled, so entitlement. By now, you, uh, your self-esteem is on the floor, and you will still expect, uh, and they will still, sorry, uh, they will still expect special favors and unquestioning compliance with their expectations. In this case, you have to have something of value to them. Number four is uh, violence, and this is a very sensitive. Uh, it's very sensitive for me. Uh, because I know people who have died through uh, experiencing physical and emotional torture from their loved ones, and um, in the in uh, w when your partner is violent, they'll make you think you warranted the abuse. After they've hurt you, they might try to compensate for their actions. I might use some examples, and you can tell me if they are, are too familiar. Number one, um, they might kneel and ask for forgiveness. And after a few maybe days or a month, they still abuse you again. They just go right into it again. Number two, they will shower you. Uh, they will shower you with gifts, and uh, maybe because you are at a vulnerable place, you'll accept the gifts and maybe still continue living with them. Number three, they will ask for forgiveness, but before he he or she finishes uh, their statement, they they still accuse you again for leading them into hurting you those are i don't know they do they sound familiar to you kindly share your experiences down below in the comment section and uh, i'll just move into the fifth one the fifth sign that uh, your partner is toxic is that um, there is need for admiration or they have sense of self-importance uh uh in this aspect i'd say maybe they exaggerate their achievements or their abilities out of proportion they want to really seem important and um, yeah so those are the those are the are they five or six? Oh, yeah they are six and um uh what i'd say what i'd like to say is that there are risk factors to stay in such relationship number one is um there's relationship difficulties uh you will experience relationship difficulties with relating to others especially when you get out and don't seek counseling. Number two, uh, such relationships usually come with depression and anxiety. <clears throat> Others might go as far as, as um, suicide. Ha, they, their partners who are experiencing the, um, the abuse or the toxicity, having suicidal thoughts. The third one is physical health problems. Um, the fourth one is drug and alcohol misuse. 
So the prevention bit uh, is where I want to take much focus on. Uh, number one, participate in couple therapy to learn healthy ways to communicate or to cope with conflicts or emotional distress. But if it comes to physical abuse, kindly seek help and uh, you can separate if it doesn't get better. And um, just seek ways to heal yourself, heal your relationship, heal your marriage, communicate uh, where you feel hurt. And number two, I'd advise you to move away uh, or great or rather get away uh, this is especially also still on the violence bit uh, either physical or emotional number three get treatment as soon as you solve your mental health problem so you might move away from the relationship but you're still stuck there physically you're out but um, emotionally you're not so I'd advise that you seek proper health for your mental health and I hope that this will go a long way into helping um, people that are experiencing toxicity in their relationship, in their marriages, that they may find healing. This is just an encouragement to for you to speak out, talk to your partner, tell them exactly how, you, how their behavior, their toxic behavior makes you feel. And um, if you find a solution, that that's a plus. If you don't find a solution, you can... Um, do what I've recommended and um, it's going to, it's going to be well it's going to be well I believe thank you for listen for listening to this uh, segment tell me what you want to tell me what you want me to talk about next and I will be sure be very willing to talk about it have a good day thank you bye see you on the next segment